here with another react challenge that could really give you an edge on interviews today we're going to implement a very simple undo redo so we have a very simple state here which is a simple value I can add random numbers and I can undo go back and then redo go forward and as you can see when I get to the beginning I cannot undo anymore and when I get to the end I cannot redo anymore and I can add random values as I want so go back and then go back and then go forward then add random and so forth great so let's go and implement this now it's a good time to pause the video and try to do it by yourself otherwise let's get into the code all right now we have our application here empty but ready first let's define these buttons and then we would write the logic this is uh, on to redo okay go here define our custom hook say use undo it will get an initial value so let's say initial and it will do a bunch of things first we need to keep track of our state state of our application which is in this case a very simple value but it can be an object or anything else and here for each state we need to have a value so we need to keep track of state changes and we do that in an array so in other words I have the initial here in an, in an array and it would be like this in the beginning 0 then I would add a number like 4 it would be added to the array and I move my pointer to here then I would add another number let's say 2 it would become 6 and my pointer would go here then if I want to undo I would check the pointer if it's not in the beginning then I can go back so I would just put the pointer here and return this value same goes for the redo so when I am here I can redo go here if I'm here if I redo I would go here and if I am here if I redo I cannot do any redo because there is no thing left on the state to go forward to okay now I need to for now return the state and uh, so let's while here have the pointer as well so pointer and then set pointer in the beginning our pointer is at index 0 and the current state is the only thing that we care about is the state at index pointer that we return to the user so only this one now if I go up here and say grab the current state from the use undo and then add the initial value of zero now let's go here and say that current state now we get the zero let's add random numbers and go ahead so here on the button let's say on click now we want to add a random number close this because it gets bigger we want to get the current state and then add to it a random number between let's say 1 and 6 so we can say mat.ceiling of a random number and uh, then multiply it by 6 and then I need to pass this value somehow to this undo to be set here so let's say that we get a set value from this undo that we will write and then we call this set value 
value here so but what is set value const set value this is also a function that will get a value and the thing it does is first create a new state array from the states that we have and then we would set the value of the next item we would say new state of the pointer plus one is the value and then we set the state to this new state and we set the pointer to the next pointer and let's send it back here set value now I can add random values to my state so we're done with this one we need to have two functions for undo and redo undo and redo let's send them here and receive them here so I mean that we just want to set the pointer to Just check the pointer if it's zero then set it to whatever it was don't change it otherwise to the one before that great and we need to do something similar for the redo for the redo if we are at the end of the array we don't want to do anything so if this is equal to state dot length minus one then pointer otherwise pointer plus one now let's uh, go here and call those functions here on click just undo undo on click redo okay Add a random number three eight ten undo great great now I want this to be disabled when I get to the end and uh, this one disabled when I get to the first so let's go here and say I can just calculate these values here and say can I undo I can only undo when the pointer is greater than zero and when can I redo when the pointer is not at the end so pointer is less than state dot length minus one now in these two buttons I can define a disabled this would be not can undo similarly here not can redo I didn't get those values down here so can undo and can redo okay now I cannot undo I cannot redo but I can provide a random number and then go back and then go forward and set values as I want now the only thing is that when I am here and if I click the random number when I'm in the middle of the array I need to set a random number so when I add the random number it would become 29 and uh, then I need to remove all the numbers that are after that so for example let's say I have 0 and then 4 and then 6 and then 8 and then 
12 and then 15 and I am at this position in time when I set value and let's say instead of 12 it becomes 11 I need to remove this 15 because I have set a new value here and this value is invalid so let's go to the set value here okay the only thing that I need to do is that instead of that I can say that slice this from 0 up to the pointer plus 1 and this should work now so if I go here refresh from 0 I get to 1 to 3 and then to 6 and then to 9 let's go to 3 and then set a value we would go to 7 and I cannot redo anymore this is the beauty of it so those 6 and 9 values are removed from the array and I can go back and I can go forward so yeah this was it for this challenge I hope you enjoyed the video if that's the case don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me provide more content like this in future and if you really feel like to support the channel even more there are links for donation in the description part of this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video